Everybody, Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Got a new power station to show you today. This is a brand I hadn't reviewed before, so I like re reviewing new brands. And I got to say that um, there are some occasionally uh, power station type devices that don't make it on the channel because I don't think they're any good. I know everybody gets um, upset, like, well, you need to tell people. Well, let's. Well, we're going to agree to disagree on that. Like, I try to bring you stuff that, you know, I'm actually going to recommend or say actually works rather than just piling on but this is one of those ones that actually works so what I have here I can't say this name without Britney Spears popping into my head but um, this is the oops Exodus 600 base model you know currently you can get it you know early bird price like 139 bucks but uh, even if it goes up a little bit from that, still working pretty freaking good. Um, it's not easy to find uh, power stations like this that do everything that you need them to do and not be like too overly expensive. So having something underneath the $200 mark is really good. And I'm actually out in the woods doing this. Part of the part of the, the demo that I have, like I actually filmed back back at my place on the porch with the label mic but I got all that road noise and things like that but it's because I wanted some actual quiet when I talk I packed this out here and wasn't too bad in my bag obviously I can't put a full kit plus this in my pack but I was able to throw this in my pack with no problems whatsoever although things like this are typically something you would be thinking of in terms of uh, car camping something like that rather than actually you know, packing this in your backpack but I'm just out here so you can actually I can actually hear myself talk so if you want to know more don't go away I'm gonna give you the basic specs on this. I know you, you electrical, electronic people love to ask technical questions. So let's not play gotcha. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff. I'm giving you what they got. But, um, <clears throat> so this is a 256 watt hour capacity, 600 watt AC pure sine wave inverter with 1200 watt surge. It's the Life PO4 battery with 3,500 plus life cycles up to 80%. This can power up to six devices at the same time. So you got the two AC uh, outputs, you got two USB A's, one USB C, and then you got the car output, which is 120 watts. And you can expand how many ports you got, as I'll talk about here later, just by using different uh, wall adapters, car adapters, and things like that to give you more USBs. Seamless EPS backup, 600 watt max. Fastest charging speed, fully charged in 0.8 hours. So yeah, I did notice that when I started messing around with this thing that it did not take long at all to fully charge once I plugged it into the wall. 300 watt max input charging speed, 240 watt max solar charging speed. I have not, I don't have a solar charger for this, but I do have a solar panel set up from another brand. I might plug in to see um, if that works, which it probably will. They usually will swap them out between the two, but uh, I don't, you can get this in a package with a, a fold out uh, solar panel charger as well, because it has two ways to charge, AC and solar. The net weight on this is about eight pounds, and it's got the uh, Smart HD LCD display. <clears throat> so right now I need to charge this thing because I've been using it a bit, and it's got about 33% on here. But <clears throat> we're going to journey back to my place. Uh, there's something I set up. It was kind of like. It's kind of like the thing that I test things with when it comes to these these power stations. Um, it's best to test like the um, AC stuff, things that have you know motors in them, like power tools. 
pretty much anything that's just you know solid state like electronics tablets phones flashlights all that stuff it's like it, it's gonna do it. It, it it does all of that stuff but when it comes to the ones that I have uh, these come in really handy when I'm doing craft type stuff and I'm using the portable power tools so that's what I wanted to uh, test this out on and we're going to test out both of them at the same time both AC outlets alright apparently I can't use my microphone anyway uh, the biggest thing I've had with some other power stations is they don't tend to work as well at charging everything from all the outlets all at once it just kind of depends but um, especially once you've got it running the AC on some sort of you know device that's got a motor in it as opposed to just using the AC to charge something so right now I've got pretty much all the outlets being utilized I'm currently charging a tablet I'm charging a radio a big ass through night flashlight an anchor portable speaker so those are all charging and then I'm I've got both of the AC outlets plugged in because that's the thing that usually just you know I've, I've had other ones that just don't don't get it done so with everything on it's able to run the big Ken onion work sharp uh, with no problem that's what I like about it <clears throat> so it is out of the different power stations that I have it is the smallest of like the big ones that are going to take a handle as opposed to you know just the portable power packs that can actually run everything that I need it to run and even though it does that I can plug this into the wall and this thing will be fully topped off in about an hour. So it gets it done. So there you go folks, that was the Oops Exodus 600 portable power station. You will see it again, um, especially once we get some sort of camping trip set up or something like that. Because out of my portable stations that I have, one has all but just about fall fallen apart. That one is many years old the o light station that i have is next to useless in my opinion this is the best one i have in the smallest package that can run the most things so you're pro you're gonna see me end up using this again in some different scenarios i might set up another um obviously i can't set it in the same place because psychopaths and stuff out here but i'm probably gonna find a new more hidden spot set up a uh the tarp shelter so I can come out here and film do like I used to do where I plug in the lights and all that stuff at the power station and that'll be the power station that I end up using so I have all the electrical outlets that I need so if you want to pick one of these up um, they have them on their website also Amazon but I think they might have had a limited number of these on Amazon so if they're sold out they might be restocked pretty soon I know you can pre-order them uh, well, it said May, so it's like almost like not even a pre-order on their website still. So uh, I'll have links to both of those in the description box below. Okay, so that's all I got for right now. Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and resubscribe. It's always resubscribe. Um, <laughs> if you want to support the channel, click on the uh, link down below. Go to buy me a coffee, five bucks a month. Get you in the giveaways. It's a new month, so next week we'll be doing the giveaway on the Benchmade Freak and the um, Work Tough Gear Voyager. And then we got to figure out what it's going to be for the next month. Okay, so that's all I got for right now. See you next time.